Hello everyone, Crystal Fisher here with Nintendo Gen 64. We're in your new house. We're in a new location, guys. The, the big room is over. If you've uh, been paying attention to my channel, my personal YouTube channel, Nintendo Gen 64, as Crystal Fisher will put the link right here. Wow. Just all about that you. All yeah. about you. Yes, I've moved house. We're in a new location. This is the uh, the new headquarters for ISGP for 2021 yeah. and, and beyond for the next few years. Hopefully, I don't want to move again. Uh, but yeah, we're here today, guys, because we are recapping uh, the enormous, huge event that has just taken place. The biggest. Spyro Kingdom. I hope you guys enjoyed Enjoy the, the kingdom. Yeah, enjoyed the kingdom. Um, the, the Josh Matthews uh, certainly did. Oh, he loved it. He, yeah, loved he, it. Yeah. he, he messaged me personally. He yeah. said his favorite race yeah. was the Gold Lovers. He, he enjoyed it. Yeah, Phil, that was a great match. He, 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 told he said he enjoyed it so much that he actually quit his uh, his commentating position in Impact Wrestling and is now like an yeah. MVP. I heard that too. So he, uh, he had a great time. We had a great time watching it. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you this, we had a lot of hype for the kingdom. Oh, the kingdom, like stuff was happening. Like we, we had all these promo videos. We had people sending all the stuff. There was some bitter rivalries some friendships being aligned. We saw the debut, well, we were going to see the debut of a new trio, we'll get into that, but all this great hype. And it started off with, of course, what well, you decided and the one that put the card together. That's right. Well, let's, op let's open with a classic title. Well, yeah, look, it, it had been built up for, for a while and, and you know, we announced that MTV was the challenger way back during Super Gex League. Yes, yes, yes. And, and so uh, the fans had wanted it at Crystal Vision. We couldn't deliver it through to Spyro Kingdom. The fans got it. Um, but they finally got it. We had Marcus Terry Bedford defeating G4 Video 5 and becoming the new classic speedrunning champion. Uh, G4 Video 5 uh, had a tremendous 2020, uh, but just not good enough to beat MTV. Just, just not quite good enough at reignited. I feel like uh, Marx is quite good at reignited. Yeah, well, uh, you know, but uh, G4 had defended against Muddy That's right. in reignited. That's right, but but you know what? You could argue maybe he wasn't used to playing on the Nintendo Switch, different uh, controls. Thing. I'm sure, I'm sure. Um, you know, G4 has plenty of excuses as to why he just wasn't able to pull it out of the bag. But we can announce this. We're gonna we're gonna jump the gun at, at just a touch and say that okay, you're probably thinking, nah, that was the only way I could see uh, G4. You know, this is I can only see him in, in classic title defense. What's he gonna, where, 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 what's no. he gonna G4? What's he gonna do now? He is entering the Spyro Speedruns Cup. What? So there's your big, big, big he's back. Big announcement there, guys. First first time since uh, first time since ISGP won that he beat That's the insane. So we got we got a return, a huge return, uh, Spyro Speedruns Cup. Yeah. G4 first confirmed. First competitor. First confirmed. I mean, maybe we're in it. Who knows? I don't know. Then course we have race two and race two was again another fantastic one it was actually a triple threat match yep and it was morgan versus mal michael two again making his return as well yep. versus keyford now uh, we haven't seen we haven't really seen well first time we've ever seen morgan uh, sort of officially yeah, this is at, a, in a race this is official debut. Uh, yeah official debut good old morgan and, and then yeah mal michael two back for the first time since dropping out of uh of uh, yes. ISGP 2, and then keep it, of course, who had been in ISGP exactly. 2. And, and yeah. And one, one word to describe this triple threat convincingly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Morgan absolutely con convincingly, convincingly destroyed those two guys. Um, oh, yeah. Really moving his way up the ranks. I think a bit more of those kind of performances could earn him a, a shot at some gold. Oh, think, very much I so. Think. Very much so. Then we had our first tag match. We had Luminator versus uh, King Rovers Royale Court. Uh, oh, now, now who won this one? Who won this match? Okay, so so there was some confusion on my behalf about who won this race. Uh, uh, King, King Rovers Royal Court able to uh, but, out a pretty convincing win. It was it was a great race, and I highly recommend you check it out because really it was anyone's game. Um, everyone at certain points looked like that they were in yeah, you know, yeah. winning, and then yeah, I basically uh, I, I'm really. I think there's a potential there with the Garion and uh, and Jack yeah, look, tag team. Garion, you know, he, he had an original tag partner with Danta Fanta, couldn't yeah. get the job done with Danta Fanta. No, no, he couldn't, he couldn't. Uh, got a new partner in, in uh, Charity Royale, and that turns out to be a money so team. The, the Garion Luminator skill, I mean, of course, it goes without saying that uh, Luminator are, I think, going to be a tour de force in the future, but yeah. it's not that bad. Well, look, we've got a big world tag league coming up, um, you know, later in the year. That's Perhaps right. we could see a rematch of this. Oh, very much so. Would very you, much would so. you you guys be interested in a, a rematch of I, 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 I would and I also also love the fact and it's not the only race that did this but the fact that it uh, it actually used all three Spyro games. It's exactly. another great idea, these kind of races that involve multiple games, it's fantastic huge. for events like this. Because in typical speedruns, you know, in like your, your your tournaments, you don't want to keep it sort of it's relatively simple, you want to keep it to one game. Yeah. Moving, you know, having these having these events be like that is fantastic. Exactly. And then 
race four yes. was a uh, Meteora Girl versus James Jones. Mm. And this was this was bitter on I would say on one side because you know and Meteora Girl wanted to be in Death Triangle. James Jones uh, really you know he he was a, a target. He was a targeted man. A, a a less patient individual would have blown off the handle at yeah. the some of the accusations Meteora Girl was taking. But not James Jones. Cool, so, calm, collected, led right. to victory. And, and uh, you know, we promoted his fantastic album. Uh, you know, is it 12 tracks, is it 13 tracks? We don't know. Is, is, it, is it a La We don't know. And, 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 is it all only boys allowed in Death Triangle? The answer is yes. Okay. okay. For now. Right. However, however, as we, as we, uh, well, we'll just quickly wrap this one up. Um, you know, we had a very interesting race here. Very close, closer than I expected. Uh, James Jones, again, bringing the, bring the, the victory back. That's all right, one uh, I, I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna have to like look into. You know, is James Jones is he a member or a fully fledged member? Is he an honorary member? What what's what's going on? There? Uh, but that, we'll say that. We'll, we'll have to talk. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm counting this as a victory. But if, oh, we're, yeah. if we're talking about scouting people for Death Triangle, we gotta look no further than Charmed Sky. Charmed Sky. Charmed Sky. Yeah. I'm, I, 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 we were in the, the, the race five. Yeah. The next race we're gonna talk about is us, the Golden Lovers, versus the Parallel Pals. Yes. Um, couldn't get the, the trio match we, we promised. No. Uh, that will still happen, happen very soon. Very soon. No, we're not, we're not, we're not telling you yet, but it, yeah, it's coming. It will happen. So, uh, we're gonna have uh, Death Triangle versus Pythagoras' Angles. Uh, but in the meantime, it was us versus the Parallel Pals, Amelia, Kukul, and, uh, and Charm Sky. And you know what, Amelia? Amelia, I destroyed you. I convincingly destroyed you. But Charm Sky, you got something, Charm Sky. I like, I like, I like what you're doing. Really maybe. made up on the, on the my core. She, she really, yeah, she really came and uh, took you to task. And I'm, I'm wondering, maybe there's some space in the Death Triangle. Yes, 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 yes. Um, I don't know what the border situation. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to slide into my DMs, I think, and yeah, just have, yeah, have a little chat there. But yes, uh, Golden Lovers, us, still undefeated. Yeah. Uh, and we beat Amelia Kukul, who had a match later in the tournament for the ISGB Tag Team Championship. Yes, yes, yes. So after that race came the new. The new Triple D versus the Cross Town Boys. Mm, Brandon right. Black and his boys. Hey, Brandon uh, Black's from boys. Cross Town. And this was uh, this was an interesting race. As the commenters said, very confusing to watch, but that is exactly what. Mad, I mean. mad props to our boy Daniel Davidson. Good edit, good edit, good edit. Tremendous edit. Um, look, new Triple D, uh, uh, the champions. Uh, good. New title reign, technically speaking. I, I despise them, and th I mean, there's no lucky. You may be you may be a new member, but that doesn't mean that I don't hate you like those other exactly. people. Exactly. Like Daniel Davis, I'll break you. By association, does a monkey? I have to hate. Dan Tavenda, I will break you as well, and uh, Adam as well. I'm sorry. And uh, Lord Pikachu, uh, you know, yeah, don't 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 don't, 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 don't deal with, don't mess with us. Uh, anyways, yes. Yeah, so, uh, so new title reign, new triple D. Right. Yes, right. Strong. Exactly. That uh, we, we we've told them. Change your goddamn name, please. Yes. Okay. We, we need to get the name changed there, but for now it's, it's triple. Then we had another classic title match. The yes, second one. I tell you, the classic is getting a lot of uh, a lot of airtime here. Yeah, but it was a fairly close. It was fairly close. It was. It was, it was a uh, match in uh, a non spyro match because it was obviously classic, so it's allowed to be. Uh, and it was a Crash Team Racing Nitro field. Marcus, it, Marcus is just like in particular, like the way he was like, um, what's the word? Doing the like the getting the mega boost in Oxide State. Oh god, yeah, just yeah, yeah. ridiculous. Actually, oh my god. At close race, I think Luke was only just a bit behind by like That's right, not, track, yeah, so, yeah. Uh, Cause I think Luke was going into Oxide as Marcus. Pretty much, pretty much, yeah. But yeah, Marcus, um, uh, one successful defense now of the Crassic Championship. That's right. Um, very impressive. He uh, walked into Spyro Kingdom with potentially yep. two matches he would have to do, and won both of them, so yep. um, That's pro right. props to you, Marcus. That's right. And then we had uh, the match we were talking about before, the ISPP Tag Team Championship match, which was between Yes, Let Us Boss, or they actually want to be called the Players Beats. Look, well, if, if you guys yeah. if you guys get another, another run with it, you might be able to do it. Who are you to play with? Versus Punching Squirrels, the team that you in particular, and I, I agree, you know, are they even a real team? <laughs> Are they even a real team? Um, they're the tag team goddamn champions. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we have to we have to eat crow and go. We were wrong. We doubted these guys, and they proved their worth immeasurably. Of course, Wally coming in first in the the race itself. Yes, but, but that didn't, that, that, didn't, that, didn't, that didn't, didn't really matter because it was essentially Amelia was able to beat Noel, and it all came down to the last leg. It came down to the last. And just a, a very much. 
um, exciting as much as I am, uh, you know, glad that we got the, you know, obviously, the, you know, Yes, Les Moss, they, they had the, the titles for so long. It's finally a new blood. Oh, that's right. It's a new era. But, um, I mean, I mean, like, you know, not, not to project too far for Crystal Figure, but I mean, it, it would be great if a real tag team one of these days did win those titles. Mm -hmm. I, I just, I wish, I, that, I, 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 I wish there was just an undefeated tag team somewhere at Crystal Figure that could, that has defeated, undefeated. that has defeated Crescent Champions, that's yeah. defeated runners up in tournaments, yeah. that has gone on to, mm -hmm. you know, defeat. Uh, James Jones and he's a part That's true, that should make a very big yeah, if, only, if only there was a team that has done the beat, beating South Africans. It's on, it's on the tip of my tongue, but I, I just can't think of it. Maybe later, maybe later. Yeah. But anyway. Um, um, well, under my golden main event. Golden main event. And we have a new ISGP champion. Yeah. I have goosebumps saying it's that. Finally, it's finally, it's time. It's time. We, we, it's time. We, we, Spyro Kingdom has crowned every championship changed hands in Spyro Kingdom. Oh. Uh, but now we have a new ISGP champion, Muddy Maestro. Um, barely, barely ekes it out. What an amazing, amazing race. I was actually, I was in there, as you can see, uh, in the last like 10 or 15 minutes, um, and I just, like, I just can't, but I cannot believe, I cannot believe that Toto, it was, it was that close. I know, but I, I, Muddy I, actually, yeah. like, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm really I'm speechless because I just can't believe that Muddy was able to do it. And yes, it was like a, a Muddy goal that it was like has a, has a crazy thing with the gem count, yeah. all the randomizations and stuff like that. I love I love the fact that Stone Hill required like ten gems in it basically, so you went in and out. But the fact that it was so close, and the fact that we have a new champion, we have a, a veteran of this community. Of course, Toto is too, but pre-ISGP, yeah. Muddy, you know, finally winning the big one. That's right. Look, and, um, and, and you know, now everyone's gonna want to want to challenge him. That's right. We have we have a, a number one contender in mind. We've got number one contenders for every title, but we're gonna leave we're it for a later date. We're running out of time here, so let's, let's just, just yeah, we'll quickly wrap up on the on the recap. For some reason. Um, new champions mm -hmm. everywhere. Yep. New contenders crowned. Yep. New. Um, Rivalries uh, being forged. Yeah, yeah, sure. You know, it's 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 huge. And we're running the Spyro's Appearance Cup. That's, that's right. going to be very soon. Very yeah. soon. It's of course it's all documented on our new wiki. Link in the description. Might be doing a full video about that in the future. But check out the ISGP wiki. We have all the results. We have law. We've got all the bullshit on there. Exactly. Plenty of stuff. It's fantastic. And with that, we have to do something. We've got to talk about uh, Spyro's Appearance Cup. Yeah. Or do we say that? No, no, we have two minutes left in this video. We can't possibly. No, we can't. We can't possibly talk about it. So if you want to hear us talk about Spyro Speedruns Cup, then uh, come right back to this channel in a few days, and uh, and we will yeah, yeah, and we will have the the complete uh, analysis of what the Spyro Speedruns Cup is going to be, how it's going to work, the rules, the general thing, and then later this week we got to reveal the groups. And we're going to start this thing. Did you say groups? We gotta reveal the groups. Groups. I, I thought it was single elimination. Wow. Yeah. Well, 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 I'm gonna leave you with that. Um, so thank you very much for watching, everyone. Uh, I've been Nintendo Gen 64. This is Crystal Fisher. Hope you enjoyed the kingdom. As we always say, farewell for now, but not forever. Goodbye and good night, bang.